we learned when we were on a cruise that there are all kinds of things outside of our control Mm -hmm. that can impact how we are going down that stream or whatever we want to envision it. But what we do always have, if we hold on to that need to control, we're going to constantly be spending our energy outside of ourselves and we're never going to be focused on what is happening. Therefore, we lose our opportunity to direct where we're going. And so we can't spend all of our time attempting to control the wind because you can't, but we can spend our time understanding as I am going through this transition in my life and the wind is battering me around and it feels like I'm in the most tumultuous waters. What do I have direction over? What do I have the capacity to pivot toward with an open heart and an open mind that I feel called toward that could be my safe harbor for a moment to relax? Because there's nothing wrong with sitting in a state of relaxation for a moment before the next transition or the next change happens. That's good. It gets our feet under us. We're using the ship analogy continuing. It gives you time to restock your supplies, right? Mm -hmm. To make sure you have everything that you need as you head back into your journey of life. But we can't just sit and spend our energy on things that cannot be directed by us Mm -hmm. or, more importantly, controlled by us. So when I have that feeling of I need to control then one of the tools that I use is bringing that vision back in of my life is an ebbing and flowing stream. And what, what do I have direction over right now to make sure that I don't run ashore when I don't intend? What do I have direction over to keep myself from being battered around by the elements around me so that as I'm navigating this, I'm also gaining new skills, right? Because I've not experienced this transition before, maybe. I've not experienced what is happening. So if I use the skills that I do know and I use those to direct me, then I'll be gaining more information and new skills in order to help me the next time something similar to this happens. So I can have that vision. So have a visual to help you remember not to fight the wind during transforma- or transition, and that's transformational. I love that. And it's beautiful. And to me, it, it, it highlights a key part of transition, which I feel like is a, a skill of learning adaptability. It's really hard to adapt when you're caught in fear or stress or anxiety because you feel stuck, you feel lost, you feel directionless. Yeah. And so adaptability is a great skill to attain because it gives you that, it can create clarity where there might not be any. And it helps you let go of what you think it should be and allows it to be something, again, greater than what's possible. And so it's important to recognize, like, you know, accepting whatever situation and letting go. Um, that these aren't just like, Ooh, we'll just see whatever happens in the world. That's not what we're saying. It's, it's important to have you know, goals and ideas and, and what you can actually, you know, like a plan. Yes. But understanding that it does, the rigidity is not what, what leads to the completion of the plan. That is not, it's, it's, it's really the process. And there are so many ways that can, it can be experienced. 